Good morning, Vivek. Hope you're having a great day. Here's your daily news briefing. Let's dive right in. In the AI world, Klarna is making waves by replacing 700 support agents with AI, forecasting a $40 million profit boost. Meanwhile, Scale AI has launched a new benchmark, WMDP, in collaboration with the Center of AI Safety to test AI models on risky information. Zapier is expanding its AI capabilities with Zapier Central, a new workspace to build AI bots, and its acquisition of the AI first meeting startup, Vowel. The AI arena is bustling with innovations, including the release of Claude 3, claimed to be the best free chatbot in the market. Anthropic and Inflection AI have released generative AI models, rivaling even OpenAI's GPT-4 in quality. Additionally, Apple's Vision OS 1.1 update introduces improved user personas and more than 1,000 native apps for a richer user experience. AI2 Incubator, with a whopping $200 million in compute resources, aims to fuel AI startups' early development. President Joe Biden has unveiled a $6.9 trillion budget for FY 2024, proposing tax increases for U.S. multinational corporations and high earners. The SEC's new climate disclosure rule aims for more standardized climate data, allowing for more accurate risk evaluation and promoting sustainable finance. India is set to sign a trade deal with the European Free Trade Association, EFTA, on March 10th aiming for a $100 billion investment commitment. The deal, highlighting India's growing economic diplomacy, may include duty cuts on limited gold imports from Switzerland. The Artemis Fund has closed on its second fund, amassing $36 million to invest in underrepresented founders. Quanto, the Paris-based business banking startup, remains robust amid the VC funding crunch, acquiring the accounting and financial automation platform, Regate. The Drone Sisters Initiative, or Drone Didi, is transforming Indian agriculture by training rural women to become skilled agricultural drone pilots. This groundbreaking program not only modernizes agriculture, but also promotes financial independence for rural women. India's Tata Memorial Center has developed a Ars 100 tablet to prevent cancer recurrence by minimizing chemotherapy side effects. Additionally, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is set to present the National Creators Award, recognizing excellence in storytelling, social change advocacy, and fitness creation. That's all for today's briefing, Vivek. Stay informed, stay healthy, and keep innovating. Have a wonderful day ahead.